My name is Dhruv. I'm part of the customer success team here at Pick3. I also have Nisha here with me as my co-host. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. Today we'll be taking you through all the updates that happened recently at Pick3. And yeah, the, the major reason why you are able to make all these updates are primarily due to the feedback that you get from you, our customers, either on social media or on our help desk or on our training calls that you do. And these updates are like a testament on what your features requests can uh, bring to our platform as well and also motivate us to continuously upgrade and uh, keep bringing you better uh, features on Pictory. So one of the features that just launched here are the multiple text boxes. Uh, I'll start by clicking on script to video and we'll click on proceed. I'll just copy my content here. While I'm doing that, I would also like to point out some best practices. Uh, one such practice here is that when you're copy pasting content on Pictory, you can use Control C, Control V, or Command C, Command V on Mac. Uh, right click does not work while you're copy pasting your content. Yeah. Next, we click on Proceed. I'll just select a random template here, and then we can go ahead and go to Storyboard. Okay, perfect. As you can see, this is the Storyboard here, which is pretty standard from what you've been using so far. The only update here would be the text, uh, visual text button on the left. If, as you can see here under audio, there's the text option. And you can add three different types of text here. One will be the heading. The other will be the subheading and your body text. The primary reason why I wanted to add multiple text boxes was to enable users to customize the content even more, like how the trends are currently on social media and what all feature requests. Let's say you are putting a video on TikTok and you want a banner to go on the top or you want your text to go on top with your Instagram handle or your uh, company's name or any other content. That's where these multiple text boxes really come in handy, uh, just, which is like adding more content apart from your script. So part of this here is, um, let's say we'll customize the heading here. I'll go ahead and change the font. This is the new styles toolbar that you see. Here you can make different changes to uh, your captions right here. Let's start by changing the font, changing the font size, the casing, and keep the alignment as is. Now you can also change the text color, background color, and highlight color. While I'm here, let's just take some suggestions for you. Uh, why don't you type your favorite color in the Q&A box here, and we'll try and include those color for customizing. Okay, let's hear it. If you can share your favorite color or any color that you'd like on the Q&A section, we'll go ahead and change the text color and background color to it as well. Okay, we have red, aqua, blue. Okay, a very specific color request. Awesome. We'll try this one as well. Since it's a number. Okay. Let's change the color now. Okay, that's the text color here. And now we'll do the background color to red, which was one of the requests here. Now, as you can see, I did change the background color. And now you're wondering, Dhruv, if you change the background color, why can't I see it on the video? That's because there's an additional setting here, which is the opacity. You can drag the opacity slider based on what you like, what percentage you like. We'll keep it at a solid 60%. This way you can adjust the opacity of your background color as well. And then it will show up on your um, text here. Apart from background color and text, you can also um, change the alignment. We'll keep it to the top right here, and we'll add an animation as well. You can add entry and exit animations. We'll do a typewriter animation, and we'll do a fade out animation. So as you can see, there's different animations for both your uh, script and your uh, multiple text boxes right here, which goes to show that it is independent of your script. Uh, this, this is one thing that we'd like to highlight, is that when you're adding text to your uh, multiple text boxes, they are independent of your script and the voiceover does not narrate them. That's because we want to keep it as more of an accessory to your video 
so like i mentioned earlier you can add your instagram handle you can add your additional information so that's the primary purpose of these multiple text boxes and let's this one setting that a lot of our users primarily use is the hide text feature so you might add the voice over then you would want to hide the subtitles so if when you do that you can only hide the subtitles here but your heading still says on so uh, how do you delete it uh, you can click on the heading uh, or the text box here and you have three different pop ups so one is the duplicate option the other is the copy to all scenes option if you can see you can just copy the same text box to all your scenes and the third is the delete option so if you don't want the text box anymore you can simply click on delete and that way your multiple text boxes are gone from the video if you have any questions so far please do feel free to leave them in the q and a section and uh, i'll be happy to answer them yes okay background opacity i'll just take you through that again emojis i'll have to copy it from somewhere just give me a second since you have thanksgiving coming up let's just do the thanksgiving one so you can use your uh, emoji in the multiple text boxes as well and the, these are all the different fonts that are available so you, these are the standard fonts that are available on pictory and you can change any one of these now that you made changes to the fonts i'll take you to the background color again first you select the background color and then you see the slider right here the second slider you can just drag it based to select the opacity level the highest is 100 where your background will be full opacity and then if you want to reduce it you can just drag the slider sorry i do not understand can the text box hold a variable if you can elaborate on that that will be perfect Uh, if you want your heading on the first page then you, you just select it on scene 1 and it won't be there on scene 2 like this is because it copied it earlier but if you just select it on scene 1 then your text box will be present only on scene 1 unless you go ahead and click on copy to all scenes it won't be duplicated to all your scenes okay i hope that answers the questions so far okay so that's the first part of updates that we had on pictory and just like script to video transcription is also a huge part of what uh, our users request all the time and one such request was to identify the speakers in the uh, transcription so we enabled multi speaker speaker support we'll click on proceed and uh, i'll just go ahead and upload a video that i have once i click on proceed you can choose the number of speakers so if i have two speakers in my video i'll just select two or three or four uh, we'll stick with two for this one now if you're wondering uh, a question that will come to your mind is uh, what if you have just one speaker in your video right because a lot of our users at least one that we've noticed more are people just in front of the camera creating tiktok videos or just you know creating some motivational content with just themselves so in that case you just select one speaker and just Just click on proceed. This way, there's no confusion about the number of speakers in the video. For our use case, we'll select two. And um, I already have this transcribed. Yeah. So as you can see here on the transcriptions page, you have speaker one and speaker two. These are the default names. But if I want to change here, you can double click on it, and you can you know select the names here. Now you cannot leave them blank. Like if I have speaker two here, you will need to add a name, or you can just leave it as speaker two. If I go ahead and click on delete, it will give you a warning that name cannot be empty. So we do recommend either you leave it as speaker one, speaker two, or just add a name that you would like. Um. So the identifying factors are the colors. So you have speaker one in black and speaker two in blue. uh otherwise uh it just helps you with uh, your overall transcription so it won't show up in any preview or while you are on the storyboard and uh, this way it it will uh, smoothen your transcription process in general any questions so far good i will go ahead one more thing that you might notice is you sort of revamp the transcription page right so earlier if you see on the top bar here you had several different buttons which had like merge split delete 
don't worry you can still do all those we just like uh smoothen it out for you we'll just go ahead and select the ones that are already there and the one that you might be familiar with the first one is remove filler words these are the ones that remove all the ors and ums and all the filler words from your video which are highlighted in a red box right here on the left so once you uh, enable the button all your filler words are disappeared from your transcription the same goes for silences these are notified by the square boxes here once you click on remove silences you can select the duration so if you have a silence that lasts longer than 2 seconds in your video they will um, will remove it for you i'll just click on okay and as you can see the boxes are gone so that those are your silences right here now the major updates like i mentioned earlier is you changed how to perform some important functions on pictory So the first one is add to highlights. So you can add it to your highlights through this. Next thing that you can do is select multiple sentences, and you can merge them together. Yeah. So you select multiple sentences and then merge them together to make them as one. If you're familiar with the merge sentences, the whole idea is that if you are selecting three to four different sentences. and adding them to your highlights they are considered as different highlights but when you merge them together so if i were to merge all four of these together they would then be considered as a single highlight the next option here is delete uh, from the video once i select the sentence i can also edit the text earlier we'd only uh, limit editing text to a single word so how you would do it is you would just select double click on the word and the black box would allow you to uh, make any changes to a particular word that you would like but now what you can do is you can select an entire sentence click on edit text and you can uh, just make change to the entire sentence as well let's say now you get to know us so once you made the change it will show up on the subtitles on the left similarly you can also select a word and you can add it as a filler word if you like so let's get this text here the other um, options from th these uh, pop ups are delete from video if you don't want a particular sentence in your transcription to show up in your final video you can select delete from video as well what this will do is it will just take that particular subtitle and remove it from your video it will not take out the audio but it will just take out the particular subtitle and transcription from your video so when you select a particular section and delete from video it takes out that section and deletes the uh, particular section from the video as well while edit text is on a transcription level so edit text allows you to make changes to your captions and delete video allows you to remove that particular section from the video Uh, if you have any questions uh, please do leave them in the q and a yes and um, just circling back to where i was if there's a particular part of the video that you just want to generate as is without customizing you can just uh, select that particular section and click on generate video this way your video or that particular section will generate as a separate video uh, uh one more thing that i would like to point out here is that you can also change the number of lines that appear in a particular scene so here you see there's maximum one lines here below the uh, video preview i can change it to 2 3 and go up till 5 this allows you to reduce the number of linked scenes while also allowing you to change the number of uh, lines that appear in each scene here Just let me quickly look at any questions yes so you can select or you can click on right click as well yeah so i'll highlight this here i get the add to highlights edit text and generate video option but what i can also do is can right click as well to bring up different uh, options like split add a filler word edit text and delete from video so you can either highlight or click on the right uh, right click right here okay um next we have the templates options here you can either select from the templates library right here or you can go to my templates and select any of your previously customized templates from this option right here while the video is uh, customizing happy to answer any more questions this takes you back to the storyboard here and 
here you can make further changes to your video and um, your subtitles and your captions you can add your old templates to make changes to your styles and your library you can add your intro outro and um, add your voiceover as well if you wish and along with the new update which is the multiple text boxes so that was the lowdown on all the different updates that you had so far on pictree which includes your multiple text boxes, improved transcription, and adding speaker, multiple speaker recognition. Any questions for me? Okay, if you don't have any questions right now or while you are experimenting uh, with the new update, please do feel free to write to us to uh, support and we'll be happy to answer any questions or any other queries that you might have. Uh, Thank you for taking the time out to join our webinar today. And um, also, I have Nisha here with me. Thank you, everyone.